isn't it? To be sitting down that way and, and here's a tall chair. Oh, hot dogs. Oh boy, there's what mine can sit in. Oh, you, that's good. What did Kermit say? Did you talk to him? I didn't talk to Kermit, did I? Talk no, to Kermit. Talk to talk. He called me. Yeah. Hey, you just talked to him a while ago? Yeah, I talked to Mil I talked to um Jimmy. He called first and then they called Mary Mildred to the phone. And uh but Kermit didn't come. They they were all over there. They hadn't done anything. So you feeling all right? Yeah, he I didn't well, I didn't even ask about it. They were so busy talking about Mildred Sue and all and Jack they flew Jack uh Ralph down to Houston. The boss did, Joe, I don't know who Joe is now, but he's the man that's going to work, he's going to work for. They flew him down there yesterday, and he was to get back last night. And, um, but they had not Mildred Sue hasn't phoned them anything. See, they're on the part, they can't call like we do. They got to, they're on a long distance call. Bonnie, Bonnie. And they thought maybe they'd come in. Woo! Yeah. Don't you get my beauty thief. Come on, come on. Come on, come Hey, you take this. <laughs> He's cute, honey. That's the only dog I've seen that's cute. I wouldn't have one of those. That thing you wouldn't have if you, you wouldn't have that one if you had No, that I, would, mm -mm, oh. I wouldn't have it. It but barks like crazy. Those little poops, I cannot see that. Mm -mm. Can you step on one of them? You go over there. They're jumping all over you. They're doing it, and every time you get up and move, they're jumping in here, and they're just, they're worse than fleas hopping around. <laughs> get so nervous. Hard as jump, but you can see it. Well, I don't mind having anybody holler, the one that holler and play with you and be something, but those little doop doop here and here, just scratching your stockings, you know, just nothing. You say, well, goodbye, darling, or whatever you've got on. And they're awful. Well, this one thinks she's a kangaroo. Mm -hmm. This dog is smart, though. If we take the time to teach it, it can learn. But yes, it's worth she it. Had, she was throwing that out there, and he's getting where he ain't gotten where he could jump it. He, no, he wasn't jumping, he was just jumping up to it. Yeah, but oh, though two or three times he well, went over it. She teaching me. Well, he could, now, so do that. You could teach that dog. Did you see the Hollywood Palace last night on television? They had some. Uh, a lion tamer on there, and he had some lions and tigers in the cage. I don't see how they can train those things. Well, I saw that, but I got so disgusted with it that put much that on. He, I saw that. I saw the. Um, I, but but I had seen it before. I had seen that same thing. They where where the lion, the tiger jumped over the lion. Yeah, I think we had seen those. Mm -hmm. same thing. Actually, those animals didn't do anything but just act like they were mad. He just would act just like Bonnie. But he did, he just make them all up their mouth. Uh, make a lot and, then, and he had that thing like he's going around, so if they did, he could stick it down his uh, throat. But actually, he was just provoking them into making that sound. That's all he did. <coughs> he was showing. From that one, he had a rolling over. Well, yeah, he did have that. No, uh, what he was trying to, to um, <laughs> put, show off was his tiger. Yeah. Doing that, that that's so seldom you can get a tiger and a lion in a cage together. And they were down there, and he had them trained so that they wouldn't fight, you know. And even then, when he hauled and hooped and hollered, I thought, well, I want to get on over it. I wonder if that's true, or they could tell us a lion and a tiger wouldn't be together. We wouldn't know the difference. That might I, not I, be. I know what I thought are. about him, and he, uh, him like, we're always skeptical. That that could have been a cut film too. They could have, they could have cut films, you know, and put that in there. Well, I, when we used to go to the circus, they had lions and tigers together. I never thought about them not being together. No, I think they just said that. Who can question it? Nobody else knows anything about lions and tigers. Well, somebody will go get the world book like you would in mind, look it up. So. Well, it's you. My money's worked out. Well, anybody say, well, that's darn like, cause I saw that some England brothers. Everybody's seen the circuses. I guess so. Well, I don't know whether this generation has or not. I don't, Mother. I couldn't question him. I don't think there's very many people around that could question that. It may not be a thing in the world, but that might be just saying like you couldn't have a collie and a poodle together. Well, deal. when he said it, I thought, well, good land. I guess this is one of, I, I thought I had seen it.
And I thought, well, I've already seen this. It isn't a new one. It's just the same old thing. Where does that happen? Is it here? Oh, you don't know, Lillian. I thought it was out in front. Yeah, it is. I mean, it could have been, you know, that they were just rerunning. A lot of reruns are on now. Did you ever go to see the Azaleas? Not this year. You want to go this afternoon? I don't think so. I've got, I, worked, I worked a good deal this morning when I got up. And I'm trying to get my place clean, and I'm really getting it straightened out, kind of. y'all one day next week go see if you can find a light fixture to put in there. Yeah, we can. Do you want to do that? Well, now, Mary Mildred had, had a Sears and Robot catalog that I didn't have. And it had one in there, and she was going to order it for me. It was one that came down, and it would have three prongs, you know, put down a piece. My, my ceiling's just so high, you know, that I've got to have something to drop or one that would come down, and then these were out there with globes on them. And I think you could put 300 watt or 100 watt, you know, make about 300 of them in there. I don't know what it was, but we decided that that would be enough. And she was going to, uh, and she says, now, Mom, then I'd better use and you going to ask, uh, so that I can just order that. I said, well, all right, do it. And I wanted to give her the money, but she says, no, I'll just pay for it, and then uh, I'll bring it to you, you can pay it. And she's now be ordered or done anything. I've never got it. But I'm going to find out this week whether she's has given it up. Maybe they're waiting for another order. I ordered all those sheets. Did they come? They didn't have them. Then they got them from the warehouse. And when they sent them from the warehouse, they sent sent just a, a, an outfit without any, uh, how many sheets it was, pillowcases, one, one figured at all. And it says that you will hear from the rest, and if you want to order anything else, order it out of the, this, the, the old catalog, and it will be put on this bill. It'll come in about March the 19th. March 19th, I got my bill, and I thought at first they'd sent me the wrong things. Well, if they hadn't, I didn't have anything to show that I had what I'd done with them or anything. And I was worried to death about it, but when they came in, why, well, uh, it, had, it was on March the 19th or whenever they said it, it would be, and it was $64 and something. But in the meantime, I had counted up. I had gone back and gotten all these old things and had counted them up to get the pillowcases and the, the, the single sheets and the double sheets and all that. I had to buy a whole complete outfit of bedding for all the beds. I got two of everything for a change for all the beds. They were just literally, well, I'm patched up with that sort of stuff that you iron on. And I kept telling her that I didn't want her, but she put on my bed that had that stuff in it. And I said, Dorothy, don't you think it's time enough? But we haven't had bought any sheets in a long time. Oh, we've got plenty of sheets. I told her she came over there the other day. She went about to see uh, David, too. And so when I went, when Susan and them came and I got ready, I didn't have anything. When that Flo had to sleep on seats that were, were, some were just split nearly down. And I, and I just took them then and I went through all of them and gave them and told Pauline that she could take the rags and take them on off. And I took the ones that I could get down for, cut out for the trunnel beds, you know, there are, and I just, so I could cut that. They'd just be jagged in and on the sides and on the hems and all. Floor coming down when Agnes come. Now she didn't say whether she, she's quite busy. She's getting ready for her in the school account and concerts and things and contests. They're all running contests, you know, and get to finding out who, which one of them, whose pupils would be the star pupils and all this, just like golf outfits. I never, I've never seen so much contesting things in everything. I haven't run against a competitor yet in my business. <laughs> what is your business? <laughs> Monkey business? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is your business? You want to get in it? Yeah, what is it? Or get rid of your hug. <laughs> And all your children have and, and and didn't start to clean up, see what you got left. And you find out they ain't got a darn thing you you can't even sit down and enjoy yourself. 
You lost all your privilege. You talk a gap, a generation gap. I, I've got one of them myself. I can't, I can't get, decide can't whether I'm, I can't decide on whether I'm one of these that's going or one of these that's a sitting together. <laughs> one of those has been, huh? Yeah, or has been. <laughs> well, I am. I'm just as mixed up as I can be. I go in to cook. We didn't have to, well, I'm going to borrow this steak for lunch yesterday. I had, I'd gotten me on. When I went to the store, Caroline, somebody went, yeah, Caroline's with me when we came back from eating over that thing. Go get me some steak. And I want, I got me a piece of veal, prettiest piece of veal, the round, just about enough for, if I had company, I'm always getting enough, so if anybody comes in, I've got something they can eat. But a lot of them just drop in, you know. I thought, oh, now, now I'm going to have this cooked. She puts butter in everything. She eats, she just eats the butter. And I've been telling her not to. And I thought, well, I'm not going to put any butter in this. So I put it in, but still without any butter. I, I fried it, spread it with Pam, like they said, dude. You know, that's another generation. I didn't, I wasn't used to Pam. And I Pam that thing, so it was like a shingle off the roof. What is that stuff, plastic? I don't know what it is. But it didn't, and it stuck, mm. just the same. So, but the steak won 50. So there it is, goes again. And I've got frozen stuff in the ice box, but it's all it's always so much. When well, a person pulled down enough, but just what person to eat, and let the rest of them throw it out and give it to them. That's one reason I got rats, I guess. They, I'm feeding all that bunch of rats, but there, I've got rid of them. We ought to get you a dog. Now, how do you think you're feeding rats? Where are they getting it? To well, I'm, I'm just so chicken hearted. Well, they got a lot of cats. You put them out in the backyard? And, I, and I'd have them. Well, now, this is just too good to throw away those cats or dogs or something that run around there. And I'll just swing it out into the backyard, you know. And then I'll stand in the window and boy, they do lap it up when it's going out there. What is it, cats that do it? Or? Well, sometimes it's cats and sometimes it's dogs. Sometimes they'll stay there for a while and then, and the birds eat lots of it too. But I don't put out much. But it, every day when I do make my bus like that, I have to, I think, well, I'll just feed this. You have put anything out there? But now I don't have the rats. And I don't have any of my rats. I don't hear any noise at all or any gnawing anymore. I think it was decom. Decom? Decom. Decom. And they, he, they, he, you can buy it in the pound, I guess he did, because, and he, he had these little paper trays, you know, and he had a paper tray full, and I guess he put 15 to 20 around my place. And boy, you could, they, 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 they cut and gnawed in that living room over in that corner, and you could hear them, then they'd run across over here, and then down something here, and then on out around, and then they'd come be out another place. And uh, you're just going all the time. And I haven't heard of one since. How much did he charge? Twelve dollars. We're all under my, uh, you see, I, all under my, got my house. He said that they were getting in, he thought, from the basement, maybe. Didn't know where they were coming in. And we, but we could hear them crawling up the wall back by the television. We could, we could hear that. And sometimes they'd fall back, you know, and go on up. And one, but when they started out, just one old gnawing rat. But then, uh, and they got this gnawing out, and then he got him a, a housekeeper, and then he got a whole lot of kittens, and here we are. And here, and they just put all over that place. And I, I had, about a month ago, two, uh, about six weeks ago, I had him to come and get rid of the squirrels. I put out the mothballs. Then it'll, it'll run the squirrels away. And I, I had him to go all over that, and, I, and, and he put out this stuff then. And he went up in the servant's house and all, and so then I called him and I told him, I said, well, we just got, got this, the, the rats. He said, I had rats. I said, you had squirrels too. And then he said, I'll tell you what's the matter. Whenever an old house is remodeled and they begin to work on it in a neighborhood, it runs all the Farmers out of that house, and then they have to hunt a new place. Well, of course, Thomas' place has been going since before Christmas, and we've gotten them all. Ms. Elliot, Ms. Um, Ms. Um, Elliot's got some, and, and Ms. Um, Hayes—they're all fighting them. 
over there. Well, and he, he's bought mine twice, but he got rid of the squirrels. And then, uh, but still, I could hear that knowing. And I called him back and I said, Mr. Scoggins, I said, they're still knowing over here like everything and they got a whole lot of little ones helping them now. And I said, you just have to come back. And he says, well, all right. And but he says, I can't come till Saturday, hit for um, Friday, something like that. And I, I was called the first part of the week. And I said, well, that's all right, I'll wait. So I, I let him know on. And boy, I know that, that afternoon the doorbell rang. And I was just messed up and everything. And as he'd come in there then to use. And I wasn't expecting him. Well, that just tore me all to pieces, you know, of course. But he, I, and, and I told him, I said, now listen, I want you to send me the same little fellow that came before because he knows how to go all around through under my house and then the, 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 up in the attic and around. His name was Casey. And he was just the nicest little fellow. And he knew Jack grew up with Jack over that garden. And you're just as nice and genteel as you can be. That, and you can't just have anybody and everybody come into your house like that. At least I don't. So um, he says, uh, Miss Simpson, could I take this place today? And I said, well, no. I said, I'm not expecting you today. And I kind of argued. He says, don't argue with me. He says, I'm just tied up. Says, and they, uh, orchids, hey, orchids, he used to work for orchid. Orchid. Orchid, that, orchid. Yeah. Uh, uh, he says, um, they're, they've had three people to quit them. They've quit and gone into business for themselves as soon as they find just like they've done. But he didn't say that. But anyway. And that the organ had asked him to come over to do some others to take that place. So he um, said, I've just swamped and says, I've got a little grand, the only grandchild I've got is in the hospital with a malignant tumor on his kidney. And says, I just, I want to get through the, all of this before then. I says, well, go on and do whatever you can. And, and I said, you know, I said, now you know where everything is and I can't follow you around and nobody here but me. He says, all right, so he went out and he got out and he says, now I think I've gone over all this place. And went up to the servant's house and put it up in the attic in there and all around down in there, everywhere. Well, we heard a little kind of wee knowing, then a little bit wee crimping farther apart, and they're gone now. They'll, they'll, they, there's something that attracts them in this stuff. And it makes them terribly thirsty. And they get out to hunt water. And then they, uh, they are, then the stuff is just like formaldehyde. It just dries the body up. You don't have, if they get caught in the house, it doesn't odor it at all. But I, they, I don't see any more of them. Well, I thought that they had no into where they was running down my, my kitchen. You know, those old cupboards over my icebox, you know? I thought, well, now they, they, oh, you could hear them on the platform, you know, on the floor of the platform of going up the stairs. That um, landing of the stairs, they were in that, between it and that. They were just in between everything, all of that. Line. You ever did see any? Never did see any, but you could hear them running. And now that I don't hear it at all. Did you show Nanny your bracelet? Well, no. Where'd you get? Oh, how? Why then? Uh -huh. what, what kind of charms are you putting on? I put some long. To school, just cool, just cool things. Mm -hmm. Well, what's this old devil on here and the old skeleton who's on <laughs> there? That's a buccaneer. A buccaneer? A mascot. <laughs> well, where's the Miss Mascot? <laughs> Have you got one of your cheerleaders? Well, I'll declare. Well, who, who gave you these? All your little schoolmates? No, no, we did. Well, can Nanny give you one? Yep. She's learning one. Huh? Oh, she's got all of them. They make, well, they make those three. Well, well you don't sure have any for cheerleading and things like that? She's not the cheerleader. Well, for the, for the other thing, for the... Well, that, she's got the, that picture of the school building with drill team captain on it. That's what we gave her. See, that's a picture of the jail Long Junior High School. Mm -hmm. You sure the little drill team boot you have? Yes, I saw that. Thank you. Well, how long have you had your bracelet? Since just lately, haven't you? Uh-huh. It was just last week sometime. Mm -hmm. What were you doing with my tape recorder? I just wanted to see if the batteries had gone dead on it. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you let batteries sit. <laughs> so funny. Nanny's been telling all about her rats. <laughs> you want to listen to it? 
What? We're talking about this one. I was putting oh. it down there. No. I'm, he's got this one on. You know what I'm laughing about? I, I worked and I worked on that old battery that Buzz gave me. And, and the batteries are down on everything I've got on my place. I've run them all down. That's what I mean. Said batteries, batteries, and I was going to get some over the weekend, but I oh for these. You don't know what a tape recorder is, do you? Huh? You know what a tape? Yes, I. You're all recording some things here. Well, this little tape recorder down here that Margaret had, uh -huh. uh, I was looking at it a while ago because she's had it for what two years, something like that, and then. Uh, we never have replaced the batteries in it. And I was just wanting to see if the batteries were going bad. bad. And if they had, I was going to get them out of there because that stuff will corrode. Yeah, makes sense. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, how long will it, does, it, does it take up to corrode in a... In a uh, you said mine had corroded, you know, when you had to yeah, scrape it all. Yeah, I scraped it all out. Got it all out of there. Well, I, got, I finally got buzzes to where I could turn it on. And I got it plugged in by the, top, by the side of my bed, and I like it. It's quite good. I don't have to depend on batteries now, you see. Yeah. Hmm? White poodle out there in front. The Caroline didn't have a white one. There's, and it, in fact, I've got two little, little poodles. Not as, not as small, not the midget set, but the, the toy ones. Poodle? <laughs> hey. And she keeps them in her Does it look like it's clean or does it look like they lost her while there's one advertising paper? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I do. Oh, let's see the color. What do I call it? Dog. Hey, dog. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. She gave whistle. Hey, dog. <laughs> you didn't know that he's a dog, I can't see. No, we came over here and we made some of these records. I would win one at Christmas. You come? Mm -hmm. I mean, just made you mean that. I mean, just made you say that. That's the first time I thought of it because I got this what other one. What do you need him to get some batteries and put them in there for you? No, I was there. I, I've got this other one fixed up. And then I'm the one that back there with the, with the clock on it, on the other thing is running and it's, it's on electric. I've got to get some batteries for other things, and I thought, well, I'll just, I'll leave them out, set them out there, and I'll well, Did I'll get you get to the grocery store yesterday? Mm -hmm. Who took you? That we came as we came. Caroline? Well, a lot more stuff that I put it stuck in there. But, um, I've got everything. I've got my, my nut bread, and see, and I got my rolls. You got the rolls and about that. So it's, uh, we came, as we came out of, um, or started to go back. We couldn't go to the Highland Parking Home. Then we went on as we started going back. I said, "Well, let's just go by the Prentice and about the place and get me some bread." And I got me two loaves and put one loaf in the refrigerator. And then I've got those. I'm gonna try to quit eating so many of those um, rolls. So I'm gonna go back on to some oatmeal and stuff. But uh, I didn't have the, 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 the toast to eat with my eggs. So, I'm all fixed up now. I'm just coffee, I've got everything. I don't need anything now. I'm going to open me up an account. Miss Taylor told me that um, there's a delivery, there's a little um, grocery store down on, uh, I think she said, on you somewhere down in there. Not, it's on the cross street goes on to get you. The name is Hill. And uh, she uh, said that he delivers for her, and said he'd be awful glad to yeah, he would get a new customer. And I put I mean, the phone book and find his number. She gave it to me, too. But uh, I thought, well, if I ever do need anything, why I can I can call. You know, and get I get my eggs and my milk and some ice cream off of the wagon cottage and cottage cheese. cheese. So it's not bad. But I do miss going somewhere, and I'll be sitting there and think, oh, well, I'll get a lot of people go do, the, go do this, that. 
and not to have ridden or driven as long as I have and then just had to give it up. Of course, I didn't, didn't miss it so much when I was staying there with Daddy. But when I'm left there now all alone, they, and then I see Miss Eddie take her car and go out and all these, miss, these others go around and I'm already here, I am. But Lord, I would not take to drive. I, and now I couldn't, I couldn't get home if I started. <laughs> I, I was lost the entire way from where we went to eat. I couldn't, I couldn't go a, as many times as I go up to that old um, cut rate drugstore. And you come in on a different way, you know, and I didn't see and the light was shining. And I was just kind of blind, didn't have my glasses on, should have put them on with the colored glasses. And then you turned around here and that was different to what I look when I go, you know. I, that's the only way I see it's just from my house. <laughs> that's the way people are in New York City. Well, they know where they work and where they live. That's they all they do. Well, you could, I could tell, I could be on the expressway, but I wouldn't dare do it. Yeah. But I could get over, and I, I, then I got thinking. Well, my my my, my car has been started, and since they put the sticker and everything on, it's all ready to run, filled up, and everything. But, it, but and then, I guess the batteries will go down on it. I don't know why you don't get rid of that car, Mother. Well, all right, it's so much fun. when uh, we, and Agnes says that when she comes, we need a car. And the children say, well, Mama said and if anything happens to their car, you know, one of their cars, why well, they can come and get mine and well, they have. Has anybody ever done that? Yes, they've done it two or three times, Caroline and Jack especially. But anyway, I kept thinking, and all the time that Agnes was there, you know, she came, um, or she was there a good deal this winter, you see. Well, I didn't think she ever drove your car, though. Oh, she didn't drive anybody else's car but mine the whole time she was there. Buzzy had her. <laughs> Buzzy had hers. Buzzy left before anybody and got home after him. <laughs> so, no, we just we drove my car, and, she, and he, he took that one. He, and she drives my car. You couldn't get anything for it anyways. And Kirby took it out. Kirby's taken it out to his place, and he keeps the, uh, uh, he, to the man to put the sticker on it, you know. I sent it up to, um, what's his name? I don't know what, what I had. It went up, they went up there for something. Oh, I had a flat. And uh, a spear, just about it. So he, uh, he took it up, somebody took it up there. Bill took it up, and, and uh, I said, what you still need to put the, fix it up with the sticker and all? And he said, well, uh, I get my, well, that's it, isn't it? I bought it. So he says, uh, well, you know, he, he called me back, said, Miss Simpson says, you just got a, a valve leak. And says, uh, um, I'll just put a new valve on that. And says, I'm, I'm just so snowed under with cars. Says, I'll take your car some other day. He says, if you don't mind. And I said, well, tell me I'll bring it on back. But it's fixed so it's running. He said, all right. I said, we'll take it on. Well, then Jet Kermit came in before he went to the hospital. And he says, let's get that all fixed up because if anything were to happen, then we, we, get, we need, need the car for Jimmy to have the car. And he had, was, Mary Mildred had one, and, but, and I don't know, they wanted another one. And he says, we'll fix it up so it'll be ready. And uh, I said, all right. So they took it over there and brought it on back. And I told them, well, why they ought to stay over there, kept it. And uh, I said, he said, no. I said, well, this, after the Agnes comes this summer, I, mean, I don't know what the room don't use me to care, but I've got license on it and everything. They don't want Jimmy to have it. Yeah, well, they don't know what they're going to have to do. You see, they're waiting. At Jimmy's going on. You see, Milk is, oh, he's going over to Arlington, I think, to school. Well, it's like he could enjoy having it now, though, during those senior activities. Well, they don't have room. Uh, they, they take it now, but they don't have room enough. It'd have to stand out on their driveway. Got They've got two cars in there, and you can just uh, get them in and out. Jimmy goes wherever he wants to and drives his daddy's, and Kermit's going to take mine when, he, when Jimmy takes his, I think. Is what they and he said, don't get rid of it until we find out what we're going to do about the cars. And I said, well, all right. I, I could have sold it three or four times. Everybody wants it because it is a good engine, but it's one of those men, the, the, the people made, you know, such so good ones. They said, it's the best one that's ever been made. And old man's out there painting it. They said, you've got one of those 54s. I said, yes. He said, it looks like I haven't been ridden much. I said, well, Lord, it's been all over the country. Caroline and Don them drove it for two years. 
and uh, Jack had a car, and, and she drove this one, and, and she'd take me and Daddy, too, would drive around, and I could drive. But uh, then after I had my operation, well, that was waste. <laughs> last, last time I went to Old Cliff, I drove myself, and Mr. Spillers died. And I wanted to go over that funeral. Well, oh, Lord, I just took out down there, McKinney Avenue, and I was going to go across the old street, Houston Street, Bob up, got down there by the old uh, schoolhouse, and, and I went on back and got over there, and I was just happy as a bug under the rug. And after I got over the old cliff, I was all right, and then I thought, well, now I'll just go back the same way. And Lord me, I wound up at Richardson, way out of way around. I, I had come out from the cemetery, a church or something, and I never could get back on McKinney Avenue, and I never have tried to go anywhere else. Since then, I'm just right around here. Like all, all my old uh, signboards and things that I had used to go, go by, you know, where I turn off places going back and forth to Old Cliff, they were all torn down and gone. 